ஹாய் காய்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் ஒன் ஃபிஃப்டி வர்ட்ஸ் பெர் மினிட் டிக்டேஷன் டோட் பேசேஜ் ஃபெப்ரவரி டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் ஸ்டார்ட் ஸ்பீக்கிங் இன் தி லோக்சபா அண்ட் ஹானரபிள் மெம்பர் செட் மிஸ்டர் சேர்மேன் ஐ ஆம் கிளாட் டு பார்ட்டிசிபேட் இன் தி டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் தி ரயில்வே பட்ஜெட் அட் தி அவுட் செட் ஐ மஸ்ட் சே தட் ஐ ஹாவ் எவ்ரி பிரைஸ் ஃபார் தி ரயில்வே மென் who are doing their best to improve the efficiency of the indian railways it is only because of their strenuous efforts that we are having a surplus budget but i am sorry that the second class fare has been increased in this year's budget we were accepting that at least in this budget our new minister would not increase the second class fare i would request him to reconsider the decision and see whether the second class passengers can be exempted from this levy coming to the various aspects of the railways i must say that the work regarding electrification of the railways has been done very effectively but at the same time the employees who are doing this work have submitted a memorandum to the railway administration i would request that something should be done in their case to redress their genuine grievances i would request the railway minister to hold a meeting with the representatives of the all india railway men's federation and also with the representative of railway electrification workers to decide this issue by taking cross the table now i would like to draw the attention of the honorable minister to another important point namely the appointment of a wage board this demand has been supported by the national federation of railway men also i happen to be the president of south eastern railways union which is affiliated to the all india railway men's federation we requested the appointment of a wage board with full powers because all the grievances of the railway men cannot be trashed out by sitting across the table or sitting around the table the time has come when the recommendations of the pay commission have no relation with the rising cost of living today because it was thought by the pay commission that prices would stabilize somewhere but unfortunately it has not been possible to hold the price line i know the railway ministry will say that they pointed a committee and its recommendations have also been implemented though in certain cases the committee's report was accepted into to by the railway board with slight modification it has not been been implemented in certain places i would request the honorable minister to see that the recommendations of the committee are implemented fully then appointment of a wage board has become a question of life and death for the railway employees throughout the country i am sure the railway minister employees do not want an immediate increase but they want an objective analysis of their jobs where the correct man is doing the correct job so i request that a wage board may be appointed soon and the government should not have any hesitation in appointing a wage board another point is that the railway employees are not enthusiastic about the small dearness allowances then now that unless the prices are brought down the increase in dearness allowances does not mean anything their feeling is that the government have not been able to hold the price line the another alternative is increasing the capacity to pay by raising the dearness allowances they know that it is an vicious circle and that it will never end this will result in more inflection so their request is that cheap grain shops should not established i do not know why the railway board is opposed to this at least those items which are used by the workers and employees is that daily life should be made available in cheap grain shops cheap grain shop is the only substitute where by the employees will not demand higher dividends allowances that is why i request that the cheap grain shops may be started i hope the railway ministry will consider this request my next point is about the night duty allowances the payment of these allowances is now restricted to some categories of employees i do not know the logic behind it i have gone into the question carefully in a logical manner 
I feel that all the categories of employees who are doing the night shift duty should be given these allowances. I am sure that this request will also receive the sympathetic consideration of the railway minister and that he will sanction it soon. Stop.